Good evening, Des Moines, Iowa, and the world. This is the Doc and Lefty program coming to you live from the WebCapsuleLive.com studios in beautiful Northside, Merle Hay, Des Moines. This is Lefty bringing you the perspectives you love from the sides you hate with me. My my friend, compatriot, and, uh, and well, sometimes uh, partner in crime, yes. Dr. Petrosh. Doc, what is happening? Not much. Same stuff, different week. Now, I do have... Everything's going well with me. Yeah. Things going good with you. I saw that you had a couple of gigs. How'd they go? Uh, Oh, yeah. The... the Boy, the, the one a couple weeks ago was pretty fun, but I, I'm playing... I uh, got three coming up. And okay. so we'll, you know, at, at my standard places, you know, so just... Okay. Yeah. Make sure you in the neighborhood. that a little bit sooner than the 20 Dude, minutes I can, before you I run forget... Out. Here's no, this is, and this is what's so bad because you're not the first person to say that to me. I will be sitting in my office like at two in the afternoon, you know, in that, you know how you get that? Well, you don't know about this because you see people from uh, eight o'clock until they let you leave. But uh, ever, but I'm sure that you've experienced this, but two o'clock for me, it happens about two o'clock in the afternoon where I'm, I've been doing stuff all day. You know, I had my uh, pre lunch, like I got a lot of work done in the morning and then I just get back from from uh, lunch or I'm doing something around lunchtime and two o'clock, I start to just zone out. Mm. And about five minutes later, I, I kind of snap back I'm like, oh, man, I have no motivation anymore to do anything right now. And then you got to have to get back on track, maybe have a cup of coffee or something. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but sometimes that happens to me um, around two o'clock most yeah. days. And so usually what me, what that turns into is. Oh man, I have a gig tonight. <laughs> then I zone. Oh shoot, I can't believe. And and then yeah, it doesn't. See, nobody see, I don't knows. Even have the luxury of having five minutes off at two o'clock in the afternoon. I know, right? Yeah, I'm t- life of a, of a liberal lawyer. It's awesome. I'm just telling you. Yeah, anyway. I know. I all my jets sitting around the um, around the world, just like yes. my my buddy, uh, my big bro Pat Petros. Yeah, yes, it's awesome absolutely. being me. That's for sure. The master guru. <laughs> so anyway, I have a major. Uh, since we're trying to get on the actual radio, I have mm-hmm. to watch my language. But anyway, it starts with a cluster and ends with a K. And that started this morning as I'm, or yesterday morning, yeah. as I'm going to work and I get pulled over for not having a seatbelt on. Now, I did and I didn't. I have my seatbelt on. Anybody who knows my dog Darwin, who's one of the little cute dogs in, a, in the commercial, he's nowhere near as cute behaviorally as he is physically was jumping around in the back i can't turn because i have the shoulder strap over so i put it underneath i'm right over here by the turn come up to the station turn around grab my dog put him back up in the front next thing i know i got lights behind me oh you're not wearing your seat and i pull into the driveway over by the bank the bank that just got robbed i think it was thursday afternoon Hmm. and and to which they've never found the perpetrator so i undo my thing everything else comes up well what's the issue well you're not wearing your seatbelt. Now, having been in that spot about 12 years ago, I just decided I wasn't going to argue because I argued the last time. And I mean, I thought that cop was going to beat me silly anyway. One thing leads to another and I have a ticket. And then I got a ticket for not having, because I said, well, it's in here in this mess somewhere. And he goes, yeah, that's all right. If you find it, let me know. Then he comes up and he gives me a ticket for not having that. I'm like, it's right here. I said, if you want me to look through, well, you know, some people may lie. You don't understand, officer. I have it in here. In the, It's right in here. Oh, well, I gave you a ticket anyway. Now you got to go down. And that brings me to this next point. If Baker's Trust, just across the street from the studio, just got robbed on Thursday, what in the world are these people doing out there giving tickets for, for seatbelt violations? Why don't we start using some of this t- time to go and catch these robbers catch these federal criminals so i was talking to a friend of mine who's a cop and he basically <laughs> says well you know it's probably something that they already established i think a bank robbery is a little bit more important well than a seatbelt violation i, I the would other thing is end of the year they need money so hey this is what we're suddenly gonna do so i so i'm gonna throw it back over to you i have nothing to contribute all right good because i that's lefty's way of saying pat you are right. <laughs> Doc, you're correct. We should be using our manpower 
to be doing something a little bit more helpful than pulling people over. Mad, you ever been pulled over? You ever get out of it using your feminine wiles? Oh, my God. You know why? Because she doesn't have a beard. If you're bearded, they give you a ticket. So I, I, Yeah, maybe. Plus, she's just cute as bugs here. Well, I mean, part of that is because you could be hiding something under there. <laughs> I think that's what uh, one of the, in that in that in that uh, is that Muslim beard case, uh, Alito said that I think in oral argument, if you remember, He'd be hiding something under in his beard. The beard has to be shorter, or else he could hide something in it. Now, I don't have a I don't have as lustrous facial hair as you do, but I don't think that either one of us are hiding anything in a, even no, if it's this long. It, it, it's just whatever happens to fall out of my mouth during dinner. <laughs> that's why I got hiding in there. So, anyway, well, we got a cracking show for us today. For you, yeah, out there in the audience, we got all kinds of stuff. We're going to talk about uh, Politico's uh, hit piece on Ben Carson and whether or not you can really trust the media or polling, for that matter. Uh, we're also going to talk about the Russia plane, plane crash, um, and this is why you can never ever believe what the Russians tell you or that they're going to follow up with what they say. Three, um, a whole lot of Indians. Just got done burning a whole lot of weed. We'll be talking about that, too. And then Bernie versus Hillary. Looks like the gloves are starting to come off a little bit there. What do you think? Well, I think that, I th well, we'll talk about it, won't we? Yeah, well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. So, anyway, well, we're going to cut this segment a little short. We want to thank all of our sponsors. Oh, exciting news. Yeah. We might actually be on Real Terrestrial Radio. I next week really can you believe that i can't believe it and so and then we we also have like as soon as i i started thinking about that we had two major people say that they would like to come on our show isn't that amazing the, i don't know what to do amazing i don't know what to do either i mean it's not like we don't get major people before but you know now they're like calling so i'm excited anyway i want to thank all of our sponsors Bertrosian associates labinus law firm and halo capital Des Moines interest rates Des Moines Anesthesia PC at 515-574-6442. Um, our social media gal has been laying down on the job. We're supposed to have a lot more blogs on the website. Oh. So we're going to, I'm going to, you know, make corrections and hopefully she'll get all that done because she's usually done a pretty good job up until I came back from, from here. I haven't had a, I, sure. <clears throat> good. Nothing to say about that either. All right. And uh, don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and go hit DocAndLefty.com. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back right after this break.